G'day everyone, Greg Schneider's Kids for Sports. Today we're going to demonstrate an activity that you can do with a, with a it's called a parachute, um, but not everyone's gonna, certainly not everyone's gonna have a parachute at home. Uh, in this instance, we do have a parachute here. We've got a couple of tennis balls. I think, Brad, you've got a couple of tennis balls as well. Uh, in this instance, we've got two parents effectively and two children. You may only have three people. We're gonna show you some alternatives to, for this activity with just using, say, a sheet and maybe some rolled up socks if you haven't got tennis balls. But the object of this particular game and the way that we're going to play it, uh, Max and Leo and Brad, if you want to pick up your part of the parachute, yeah. we're going to throw all four, four balls into the middle of the parachute here and the object is to stop them from coming off closest to you because you lose a point if, if that happens. Brad, are you ready to go? Yeah. Roll them into the middle. All right, ready? <laughs> now this is where we count up. So Leo, you've got one. That one I'll take that point, so that's a point for me. Oh, I didn't get any. Alright, so Max, you're on, on zero. Leo, you're on two. Let's do it one more time. So again, you're trying to avoid the balls coming off on your side. Ready? Yep. Wait for it, wait. Hang on, wait hang on, it. hang on. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> that was the quickest game ever. <laughs> Alright, so Leo, can you hold the balls? Brad, would you mind just grabbing the sheet? So I'm going to show you an alternative because not many people will have a parachute at home. If in this instance you've got an old uh, bed sheet, the bigger the better. So if you've got an old king or queen. So thanks very much, Brad. Max, if you just want to move that out of the way yeah. for us, please. Thank you. So this might be one where you just use with two kids. So Max and Leo, do you want to grab an end each? And yeah, sure. Oops, it is. So come on this side, uh, come on this side if you could, Leo. So again, if you haven't got tennis balls, then maybe consider something a little bit heavier. So in this instance, I'll just, just throw that tennis ball away, Max. Oh, I've got some bean bags. Tennis, I, see, I found the other tennis ball, so I'm good at that. Awesome, thank you. In this instance, uh, bean bags, you could use rolled up socks, you could use a rolled up t-shirt, maybe with a bit of tape around it. Just anything that's going to be, have a little bit of weight that's going to sit in the middle. Are you ready to go, boys? Yeah, yeah. Try not to rip the sheet. Okay. Ready? Hang on. Yeah. Go. <laughs> All right, one. I'll pay that to Leo. What? No, you get a point for that one. Ready? Oh, I got that, Max. That's two to Leo. Oh, that's one to Max. That's on, uh, that's on your side, Leo. Ready? Keep going. No, no. Oh, another point to Leo. What's that? Three one? I couldn't get Two more to go, eh? Right? You ready? No. Alright, so hold on tight. Ah, just dropping it. Ah. Ah. Point to Max. Ready? Max lost the point. Ah. Ah. Alright. That's in the middle. So I reckon that's in the middle. No points. Leo, how many points did you end up with? I reckon you got three, Max. I reckon you got one. No, I got four. And there was one oh, yeah, so I got we had four. five. So, pretty simple activity. Hang on, Leo. So, pretty simple activity there. Uh, again, if you haven't got a parachute or anything big enough to sort of work with the tennis balls, if you haven't got tennis balls, plenty of alternatives. A simple bed sheet, uh, bean bags, uh, rolled up socks, anything that you can replace the balls with, anything that you can re replace the parachute with should work perfectly. If you're going to do it inside, just be mindful of lights or anything that, that the object that you're throwing in the air might hit. I ideally, if you can do it in your courtyard, out in your car park, wherever you can, that's going to work perfectly. Plenty more games to come. Stay tuned on our PE at home Facebook group or jump onto kidsfizz.com.au.